Hi everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be covering an Epic Systems tutorial. I'll be sharing with you what it is, who it's best for, how it can help you, and how to actually get started with it. I'll also be sharing some practical tips for you at the end so you don't drown on day one. Now, if you are completely unfamiliar, Epic is a hospital grade electronic health record or EHR. Doctors and nurses use it to see patients, charts, write notes, order meds and labs, and message patients. Most users run Epic in a desktop application called Hyperspace, and it is the main window where clinical work will happen. On top of that, Epic has MyChart for patients, for the results, messages, refills, etc. Mobile applications for staff like Haiku on phones or Kanto on iPad, and Rover for bedside scanning or doc. Interoperability tools where care everywhere so records can follow the patient across different systems. APIs on the website open.epic.com for developers to integrate applications and devices using FHIR standards, and Cosmos, which is a huge de-identified dataset for research and population insights. Here is who benefits from their systems the most. We've got clinicians, patients, IT or developers, and health systems. As it covers one platform to cover inpatient, outpatient, billing, analytics, and more. Now let's go ahead and talk more about their website so you know where everything is. So you want to navigate to epic.com or you can use the link in the description below this video for convenience and then onto the top navigation you can click on software and here you will see pages for core areas like appointment scheduling interoperability patient experience and more each page explains what the module is for and who uses it you want to start by going to this area to understand epic's building blocks without logging into everything next up we have the interoperability or the care everywhere so again from this navigation right here you can click on the interoperability at the very bottom and this right here will explain how epic exchanges records across organizations and even across countries so you can see outside data when the patient shows up at your site now from the cosmos here is what epic does with the identified data and you will be able to see scale numbers with the hospitals, clinics, millions of patient records. This is not for bedside work, it's for research and large scale analytics. Now for patient access, you can go to my chart, which is what your patients will actually use. The exact navigation is mychart.org, which is linked from many health systems. And this right here will explain what patients can do so they can view the results, message, pay bills, schedule, request refills, and even join video visits. Patients do not buy Epic, they use MyChart through their hospital or clinic. As for the developers, there is a website called open.epic.com and this is where the applications will plug in. Since this is Epic's official FHIR API hub, you'll be able to find documentation, app guides and how to register your application for testing and production. If you are the one building integrations, you want to start here. Finally, we've got the training and the documentation with user web. So UserWeb is Epic's secure portal for customer training, documentation, and support. This is important because you need an account from an Epic customer organization or partner as it's not public. If you work at a hospital that uses Epic, your IT department will handle this access. So that's in essence the website map. Now we'll go ahead and talk about how you can actually get started depending on who you are and where you want to start. Of course, this is all decided by role, so if you are a hospital or clinic decision maker, you want to go to epic.com and read software plus interoperability to confirm the scope, and then use your network and due diligence or RFPs, demos, reference calls. Epic's sales team will contact you and scope on licensing, modules, hosting, and go live services, and you can expect a full implementation plan with the build, interfaces, data migration, training, and the cutover. If you are a clinician, so physician or nurse or therapist, you don't buy Epic personally. Your employer should set you up, but you will receive a hyperspace install or some web access, a login and a training playground with fake patients so you can practice. Your organization will give you a user web account for internal tip sheets and e-learning. Again, the employer will handle the access. And if you are a patient using Epic Systems, you want to go to your provider's MyChart site or mychart.org to find it. Create your account, link a provider and use it for results, messages, refills or appointments. And if you are a developer or vendor, again, you want to start at open.epic.com for FHIR docs, app onboarding and testing. Many health systems require formal review before turning on app access in production. Now, as for the pricing itself, Epic does not publish list pricing publicly on its site. Pricing will depend on your organization's size, scope or modules, hosting, services, and the rollout plan. 
For large systems, total program costs with the software plus implementation and training, etc. can be very high, as some public reports show big health systems spending hundreds of millions across multi-year programs. The bottom line is that you must talk to sales for an actual quote. But if you are a solo clinic looking for a self-serve swiper card EHR, Epic is not for that. It's an enterprise platform with enterprise level deployments. And finally, I just want to go over some practical tips that will save you some time. You want to start by building three to five smart phrases as you can make one for HPI, one for assessment or plan, one for discharge, and maybe one for common procedures. Add smart links for name, age, vitals, and key labs. You will cut charting time right away. You can also schedule the in basket so you can check it two to three times a day. Use quick actions and root messages to the right pool when needed. Patient messages from my chart are great for access, but they add volume. A routine will keep it under control. If you would like to learn even more from official sources, you want to use user web for customers only. Your organization will give you access. This is where full tip sheets and training live. Again, open.epic.com, developer docs, FHIR reference and application onboarding and mychart.org for patient features and provider directory for mychart access. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you have anything specific you want to learn about Epic, then go ahead and leave it in the comments below this video. And if you have found this video to be helpful and informative to watch, then give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos relating to this one.